These days, it seems like everyone has a 5th Gen 4 runner, and that's for good reason, but you don't want yours looking the same as everyone else's out there. So today, we're gonna introduce a lighting upgrade that's gonna help you stand out from the rest. Now introducing the 10 to 23 Forerunner XB LED taillights. They are a category killer, making other taillights for the fifth generation Forerunner no longer relevant. Brake light, reverse light, and amber LED turn signals thanks to modern TIR and reflector-based LED optics. And there is no compromise. Produced from the best materials, backed with a five-year warranty, and designed to comply with all standards. Completely designed, engineered, tested, and distributed by Morimoto here in the United States. These taillights are fully compatible with all trim levels of the fifth generation 4Runners. They are fully DOT and SAE compliant. Now let's talk about the reverse lights. Even though the XBLED taillights come with super bright reverse lights, there's more. We included an extra harness to make the backup light boost bar a fully plug and play application with these taillights. Next up, let's talk about style. With the three rows of 3D light blades that complement the edgy geometry of the fifth generation 4Runner, they look right at home on this truck. Pair that with the amber fully sequential turn signal, optional smoke or red outer lens, and we've easily got the best looking tail light on the market for the fifth generation 4Runners. All of our tail lights are designed to comply with all DOT and SAE regulations for rear facing lamps. We pride ourselves on offering stylish, high performance, and safe products for serious enthusiasts, which is why all new Morimoto products are verified by trusted third-party labs for compliance and are backed by an industry's leading five-year warranty. Now that we know everything about the XBLED taillights, let's talk about what else we offer for the fifth generation 4Runner. We also offer headlights, fog lights, interior bulbs, and so much more. So with that being said, let's get into the install. All right, step one, go ahead and pop the truck. Now with the pry tool, locate the trim panel covering your taillight access hole and pry it off. Now take a wrench and a 10 millimeter socket and remove the two 10 millimeter nuts holding in the tail light. Now just pull the tail light straight towards you. Disconnect the one clip on the back side. Now grab your XP tail light and plug in the connector. Reinsert your tail light. It goes in the exact same way your stock one came out. Now reinsert the two 10 millimeter bolts back into the tail light. Now just remove the passenger side tail light the same way you did the driver's side. Now we're going to install our passenger side tail light. This tail light has an extra connection with a dummy connector plugged into it. This is where the backup light boost bar is gonna get plugged into. Now just plug in your connector and thread your two 10 millimeter nuts back on. We now have both tail lights installed and they look amazing, but this is a great time to go and do a functions check. Have your buddy hop in the front seat and test out all the functions. From the running light, brake light, turn signal, and reverse. Great, everything's working for us. Now we're gonna install our backup light boost bar. Now this step-by-step -step process is a bit longer, so just stay with us, and we're also gonna include the steps in the description. Let's get into it. Now locate the cover above the grab handle and pry it off. Then remove your 10 millimeter bolt. Next, we're gonna pop off the hatch cover. Just start off in one area, then work your way around. Now grab the hatch cover and slide it towards the vehicle to release it. With the hatch cover released, disconnect your two cargo lights. Now remove your eight 10 millimeter bolts on the back of the trunk. Now our brackets only held on by push clips. You can use a pry tool if you need, but you can just grab it and pull it and it'll come right out. Now for our case, we're gonna disconnect everything and set it out of the way to show you more clarity, but on your side, you can just secure it and continue to work. Now, go ahead and peel back your vapor barrier. It is sealed with butyl on the outside and it can be reused, but if you wanna reinforce it for some reason, we do sell butyl on the website. We need to remove the hatch handle from the hatch itself. It's held in by four 10 millimeter nuts. Two can be seen right here, and the other two are behind these access grommets on each side. Now unplug the three plugs at the top of the hatch. 
and then press the grommet out so we can take out the harness. Now go ahead and grab your hatch and pull it down enough to access the handle, but make sure not to close it. Now go ahead and grab your handle and we're gonna pull it up to release it. You can use a plastic pry tool if you need to, but be careful not to scratch your paint. Looking at the handle, you're gonna make a small notch with a file or a drill bit on the right hand side to pass the backup light boost bar wiring through. Now it's finally time to start routing the wire for the backup light boost bar. Now with the backup light boost bar connector and the right hand side grommet, start at the bigger end of the grommet and just push it through. So with trying to feed the connector through the grommet, it's okay to use some soapy water or some type of lubricant to make it a little easier. And then once you have the end of the connector close to the end of the grommet, you can go ahead and grab some needle nose pliers and pull it the rest of the way through. Now with that little slit we made, go ahead and slide it through there and make sure it fits. Now we have the backup light boost bar wiring ran through the grommet attached to the hatch handle. Next step is to go ahead and install our hatch handle and feed the wiring through to the inside of the hatch. Let's get into it. To make it easier for us to run all the wiring, we're gonna go and mount our backup light boost bar first. Now go ahead and take the backup light boost bar harness and feed it through the hole. After that, put in your clips and your grommets. Now go ahead and reinstall the handle and ensure that the backup loose wiring is in line with the slit that we made earlier. And reinsert the four 10 millimeter nuts holding on the handle. Now go back through and plug your connectors back in. Now go ahead and reinsert your access covers. Now go and start routing the backup light boost wall harness. Start behind the connectors and route it all the way through to the left side of the vehicle or the driver's side of the vehicle. Pull the wiring all the way to the left to make sure it's tight. And then on the far left connector or the connector with the blue tape, put a zip tie around it to secure the back of light boost bar wiring. Now grab some snips and cut off the excess. Now with the wiring pulled tight, move on to the next available stud with a zip tie and secure it. And with the snips, cut off the excess. Now look at the harness on the far left side of the hatch and with the zip tie, secure it again. On the driver's side between the vehicle and the hatch, locate the rubber boot, the holder, and the other rubber boot. You're gonna go ahead and pull down on the rubber boot to unsecure it. And then to take off the bracket, get a pick and just pry right under it while you pull down at the same time. Now remove the factory electrical tape, that way we can make room for our backup light boost bar wiring. Now with the wiring snake, go ahead and start running it up, that way you can grab your backup light boost bar wiring and pull it through. And now with the wiring snake pulled through, I'm going to grab the backup light boost bar connector, place it right onto it, and grab some electrical tape and just tape it to it. And now with the wiring all taped up, we can go and start pulling it through. Grab your wiring snake again, and on the bottom section of this grommet, start to feed it through. Now go ahead and do the same thing and tape it off again. Now just pull the snake back through the grommet. Now just take off your tape. We are almost done. One last thing that we have to talk about is the backup light boost bar extension harness. The extension harness, all it does is exactly what it sounds like. It's just gonna connect to one side of the harness and be routed all the way down to the tail light. So let's go ahead and finish this up and show you how it works. Grab your extension harness and your regular backup light boost bar connection and plug in the two. Now grab the other side of the extension and start feeding it through the hole. And then with the other hand, gently pry down on the headliner so you can grab it. Now with the harness pulled tight, go ahead and grab the grommets and push them back into place. Now with the rest of the wiring, we're just gonna gently pry back the headliner and feed the wiring through. Now with the pry tool, pry this plastic piece back enough to where you can feed the rest of the wiring through and down towards the tail light. Now take the back of light boost ball harness and plug it into the tail light harness. You do have some excess wiring, so just go ahead and fold that up. Once it's folded, secure it with a zip tie and put it out of the way. Now just grab your cover and snap it back on. Now, all we have left to do is install our trunk cover. First, we're gonna reinstall our waterproof membrane. Next up, we're gonna reinstall our speaker. That's it, we're done. Now your forerunner sticks out from every other forerunner that's on the planet. The taillights look amazing and they're packed full of features and the back of light boost bar, well, it speaks for itself. It's super bright, but don't just stop here. We also make headlights, 
fog lights, interior bulbs, and everything else with these forerunners. So if you want to shop that and these products right here, head over to our website, morimotohid.com, and we'll catch you on the next video.